Players, welcome back to my second episode of my Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Nuzlocke. And just like with the Sword and Shield Nuzlocke, why don't we have ourselves a quick team recap of some of our team members? I did do a little bit of off screen grinding, just like in that previous series as well. We have Shion, the female Nidoran, with the moves. Oops. More details with the moves Double Kick, Bite, Tail Whip, and Poison Sting. We have Aaron, the Bell Sprout. With Vine Whip, Growth, Rapid, Acid. We have Crips, Crakes, the Pidgey, Quick Attack, Sand Attack, Gust, and Mirror Move. Tenebrae, the star of the team, the partner Eevee. Sand Attack, Tail Whip, uh, Double Kick, and Quick Attack. Hello, Cloud, how you doing today? And finally, Kahaku Hearts, the Pikachu, with Thunder Shock, Double Kick, Tail Whip, and Quick Attack. And it looks like we are ready to take on that Rock Hard Trainer, Brock. Let us do this. Hey, you're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell if you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Now let's get started. The Pewter City Gym only allows trainers who know type matchup stancer. There are a few types that have an advantage. Haha, <laughs> I know. Hey, if I want to simp, I'll simp do, but, ain't, but there's no characters to simp for. Not there yet, at least. But yeah. <laughs> there are a few types that have an advantage against the gym leaders or rock type Pokemon. But for trainers who have never challenged a gym before, we have them use either grass or water type Pokemon. You have to show me a grass or a water type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. Ooh, grass type, wherever will I find one of those? Great, that Pokemon is exactly what I wanted to see. Head on in, and aim to become a Pokemon Champion! And why don't we start with this trainer over here? I know I can skip them, but that was the fun in doing that. I get it, Simpin is exactly a good thing. Doesn't get you the girl and never will, just being you will. Just being yourself, I mean. Alright, our first opponent for today is a Geodude. Now, Geodude, it's time for you to meet your maker. Double kick. A critical hit, which was completely unnecessary. Defense curl, which you don't even know rollout, so what does that matter? And... End it. End it, Shion. Goodbye, Boulder Head. Alright, Pignagaramar is out of the picture. You're quite different from the challenges I faced. Alright, and our second opponent, what do you have? Probably that sand true. Stop right there, kid. Oh, this, oh wait, there's a Splatfist going on? Uh, tell me how long that lasts. I can make uh, my bonus episode for Splatoon 3 and I still have yet to finish that playthrough. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. You know that measures uh, distance, not time, right? I get what you mean, but you're kind of wrong on the phrasing there. Alright, Camper Liam. How perfect, we can do that on Friday. I'm almost done with my college assignment, so I'll have the time to do it. Now, another Geodude is our opponents here. Man, what happened to your Sandshrew you had in the, in the previous games? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm choosing Spicy. And I really like spicy foods, as I've stated before. Who don't like spicy food? And get out of here. That crit was necessary. And she owns too strong, blasting apart the competition. <laughs> I mean, I do have a bit of a sweet tea myself, but I think I just like spicy a bit more. Oops. Uh, I think you kicked my boulder a little too hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, phrasing, I know. Light years is in time, Mr.'s distance. Oh, see, now you're catching on. All right. Hold on, does, uh, okay. And I know if it doesn't matter if I save or not, but I'll save anyways. 
Have a nice little picture right next to the gym leader. All right, Brock. I'm gonna turn on the, the sprinklers and screw you over like Ash did in the anime. So you're here. I'm Brock, Peter City Gym Leader, uh, Peter City Gym Leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and I have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all rock types. <laughs> You're going to challenge me even knowing that you'll lose. Alright, someone's cocky. That's what a trainer of honors d uh, demands. So be it. Show me your best. You suck here just like you do in Pokemon Masters. I hope you know that. Are right, you are challenged by Jim Leiter Brock. Even though I'm the one who walked up to him, but whatever. And uh, the third Geodude already. Well, jeez, how many of these boulders are on the floor that I gotta kick over? Alright, Shion. Why don't I lower your defense first? I know I could just go into Bellsprout and completely destroy him, but what's the fun in that? You tackle missed. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, it did some decent damage. I will not deny that one. Alright, because your defense is lower by one stage, in other words, it's uh, by 50%, you will take massive damage from this. Like, what is with the crits I've been getting? Jesus Christ. Just like in my uh, Wi-Fi battles, man, don't do that. People are going to think we're a witch. We're witches out here. Double kick. Fifty-four experience. Chris Cakes is now level thirteen, and Onyx is our final opponent. And I don't think he has bite like he does in the original. So, why don't we tail whip? And your attack is much lower than the uh, Geo dude, so we should be just fine. Now that did quite some damage. All right, tail whip again. Oof, doing some damage. All right, now the smart thing to do in a Nuzlocke is to uh, recalculate yourself in case you end up taking a critical hit. I think that did seven damage before, so even if a crit does happen, I should live it, but for safety purposes, I should go into, it'd probably be best to go into my other double kick user. Would it not? Oh, we're not gonna use Aaron. So I think Tenebrae would be best here. Switch, come on in. Go Tenebrae, show them why you're the Centurion of Darkness. And double kick to win. And Shion is level 13. You beat the gym leader Brock. It seems I underestimated you. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge. A boulder badge. Oh man, we got our first badge. Yeah, we did. You got the boulder badge from Brock. Uh, uh, with the boulder badge, a Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait, take this with you too. The Headbutt TM, which makes no sense because that is not a rock type move. If you use a TM or a technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon the moves within it. A TM can be used as many times as you'd like. Because this isn't Gen 1 and this isn't BDSP or freaking Scarlet and Violet, even though those games don't exist yet at the time of this game. So use it, alright, you can use it as many times as you like. Use it on any Pokemon you want. TM1 contains Headbutt. It deals the yeah, cool. I think we know what that does. No wasting time here. Oh, I never noticed those little icon down in the bottom left-hand corner. Showing which Joy-Con I'm using. That's, and the color of it, too. That's pretty cool. Hey, you there, newbie. Um, I have a name, you know. Oh, no. Is that... Oh, God. It's blue! <laughs> oh, no, man. He's the greatest champion in all of Kanto. Well, at least so Red showed up, but yeah. Tell me, uh, don't tell me. You gotta be Stacy, right? 
I am? That's amazing. How do you know that? Because you look just like my gramps said. I'm blue. I've heard from my gramps that two new kids set out for Palatine to become trainers, just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym from, from an expert trainer like me. So, but it looks like I showed up too late, eh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. Quit calling me a newbie, you jackass. Those will be better for catching Pokemon that play in old Pokeballs. And hey, that thing you got there, that's a Pokedex, right? So Graham's finally would have made one. He used to make them just scribble one on a map and pencil about where I encounter Pokemon. You better do a, great, a good job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you, and sure. He's an old coot, but he's still my gramps. Smell you later, you newbie loser. You gotta th <laughs> Why is it every region I go to, people are calling me losers? Except for Galar, at least those people are nice. Hey, you got anything funny to say? Have you heard of the stories that say Clefairy come from the moon? People started seeing them after Moonstones fell to Mount Moon. Okay, and I had to know that why. <laughs> I don't know. Well, then again, I'm the one who walked up to her. <laughs> Alright, why don't we go to a Pokemon Center and heal up real quick, and we can go get ourselves a new encounter. Now, what was the previous encounter we got? She owns the latest encounter we got, right? Alright, so this one I should name after a viewer. And whatever I get, and actually, if I remember correctly, there's an encounter in the Pokemon Center right outside of that moon. And I think we all know what that is. And I already know what I'm naming it. And which tales of character specifically, but you all see when we get to it. Now, why don't I give somebody else on the team a little action? That being Chris Cakes. And is it me or that Geodude looks a bit darker than usual? Are right, you not gonna stop me, kid? No? Oh wow, that's a boulder badge you got it from Brock, didn't you? When you get new gem badges, why don't you come available to you with a Pokemon? By the way, the Pokemon is that blue building over there. Pokemon are in lots of towns though, so you probably already knew that, huh? Yeah, because I'm not colorblind, thank you. I think I just insulted all colorblind people everywhere. And if I remember correctly, that is a master trainer. I think. Hold on, let me talk to you. Oh, you're a new trainer. I'm a coach trainer. Okay, excuse me. The coach traders are the uh, ones who start in very who stand in various places to train traders. One of them. Why, what was that jumping animation? Oh, it's so stiff. Anyways, lead catch traders are strong. Coach traders are strong. If I do say so myself, if you want to try out your strength, you should definitely battle us. All right, let me test your strength. You look like someone who wants to try out your own strength. Do you want to battle a coach trainer? Me? Okay, here I come. All right, Karim. And a Bulbasaur. Perfect, because I got me a flying type here. Level 11, pretty high level actually, might I say. Now why don't I hit you with Windblade? All right, Zuber and unnecessary. Why am I getting so many crits? Gotta put there's somebody in the comment section thinking I'm a cheater now. Alright, come on, Wind, knock him around and cut him down! Windblade! And goodbye to the bull dinosaur. Kohaku grows to level 11. Huh, <laughs> you are good. But I'm better. You defeated a goat shooter, just like that. In honor of your strength, I have a gift for you. Oh wow, very useful, dude. <laughs> Provides with heal a Pokemon that's been knocked out. It's something that a potion can't do. Be sure to use them wisely. Yeah, I, I don't think you noticed. Your Pokemon did and we're doing a Nuzlocke, dude. You can't just give me one of those. That's so disrespectful. Man, they should revoke your, your coach trainer rank right now. You don't deserve it. Anyways, what good things are we going to get today? Three Pokeballs. 
All right, little ass, you want to fight me? Let's do it. Excuse me. You looked at me, didn't you? Yes, I did. You also looking at me too, so what's your point? Last Janice. And Oddish. Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. And now, come on, Wind, knock him around and cut him down. Wind Blade! Alright, no poison powder. Honestly, poison powder would have been a smart move. Uh, that or stun spore. But I don't think it knows those moves yet, does it? And thankfully, abilities aren't a thing in this game, so no need to worry about effect spore. Alright. You're mean! Hey look, we're in a Pokemon battle, I'm not going easy on you. Especially when my Pokemon's life are at the line. Lives are at the line, that's the correct terminology. Alright, is this the young star that everybody memes about? Hey, my shirts are cool, right? You can stare at them, I don't want to. And Calvin. Look at that, it's the same dude from Halloween. And Spiro. Birds versus the birds. Actually, it being a flying type, I doubt sand attack actually hits it. I don't really want to test that out. Actually, I am double this thing's level. I could have tested that out if I wanted. No, screw it. Let's test it out. Just want to see if it'll lower its accuracy anyways. Oh, it still does. Alright. They're sand in a bird's eye. That will irritate him. And the peck still hits, of course. Ah, eh, whatever, doesn't matter. This is your end, Spiro. Lost, lost, lost. Alright, this is dude all the way over here. Could you walk any slower? I'll battle you with a Pokemon I just caught. It's Camper Victor. What is that pose? Nidoran male. Ooh, that could be a bit dangerous. If it uses Poison Sting, which thankfully this isn't a game where poison hurts you in the overworld, so it's not nearly as threatening as it once was. Alright, don't poison me, please. Oh, of course, I spoke that into existence. Alright, after this fight, Chris Craigs is gonna have to go in the back. Ooh, that did some damage. Alright, goodbye, Nidoran, male. Done like dinner. I could use some dinner right now. Anyways, all right, switching Pokemon out. All right, Kaku is the weakest one on my team right now, so hopefully, as long as I don't run into anything over leveled, this should do. All right, Spiro. All right, I thought Jiggly. Couldn't you get Jigglypuffs in here? Is there seriously nothing but Spearows in here? That's gonna be irritating. You know, let's fight this trainer first. Hey, did you push me? You walked up to me. Shut up. And you're a female. Agahaku. It's showtime now. Thundershock. And... Lightning! Alright, better than Poison Sting, I'd say. And... Lightning! Your scratches mean nothing. Now, finish things off. 
with lightning. That's it. I'm confused. Did you say that as a question or as a statement? Eh. Hey, Lua. Because I really need those right now. That's other. Oh, frick. I like shorts the company's aware. Wow, you're wearing shorts too. I may be much younger than you, but you're pretty because I like them shorts you're wearing. Even though you're like 10 and I'm 6. Alright, Kaku, let's do this again. And we all know which move we're doing. Oh no, he attacks so fast I can't see him. I'm funny, everybody was complaining about double kick animations and sword and shield, yet this game had the same thing. Oh no, but it's a Gen 1 remake, that don't mean shit. I don't believe it! They still look good in them shorts, though. Anyways. Alright, Bug Catcher, let's dodge you. Before I try to get another encounter, another coach trainer. Let me avoid you. Now let's go over here and get ourselves an encounter. If, if what I think is here happens to be here. Alright, was it this guy, if I remember correctly? No, oh, there, sweet pa. Never call me that. Oh, I got a deal just for you. I'll let you have a secret Pokemon. A magic herb for just $500. It's so all your boy. It's, am I right? It is an encounter, so yes, let's do it. That counts as a static encounter. You you paid an outrageous... That's not outrageous. $500 you can get easily in this game. Why are they calling it outrageous? That's a, that's pennies, dude. Magikarp's data has been added to the Pokedex. Famous for being very unreliable, it can be found swimming in seas, lakes, rivers, and shallow puddles. And I know just the name for you. But just won't be the Tales of Character name. And we'll go back, we'll heal up real fast first, and go back to the previous route to actually get our encounter there, since we haven't gotten anything in there yet. And honestly, I don't really want a spear, or I'd rather have a Jigglypuff. If I remember correctly, Jigglypuffs are found in there. I don't remember if you're male or not, so... If you're female, I'll change his name, but Mikleo, the Magikarp, welcome back. Yeah, you're male, perfect. Alright, let's heal real fast, and get to looking for that encounter. And Mikle if you don't know who Mikleo is, he's the Seraph of Water from Tales of Zestiria. An alright game in the Tales of Franchise, if you have a PS3 or 4, I recommend you play it. There's this dude over here. I'm gonna walk around and get this Pokemon. Escape Rope. Which I'm pretty sure in this game, Escape Ropes are normal items, which I don't think they were key items until Sword and Shield. And in every game since then, they've been a key item. Alright, you know, we'll fight him after we get our encounter. Alright, well, Alright, Rattata I don't already have yet, so that's a bit of a problem. Actually, I already have a Poison type, though. Alright, you know, let's get that. Ekans just disappeared right before my right beneath my nose. No, no, no. Buster, where's the Jigglypuffs? Or unless another Ekans shows up. Yeah, I should have just gotten it when I saw it, shouldn't I? This would have to leave me alone. That'd be cool. Thank you. Oh, come on. Where was that Ekans that was just in there? Uh, again, abilities aren't a thing in this game, so. I don't think it would have been that useful. <laughs> I might just get the Spiros, honestly, for uh, dupes later. That might be a good idea. Pretty much got everything I need from Misty already. What is that? Another Rattata. There's a freaking Ekansos just here. Oh, 
Let me pick that. Oh my frick, the game's just laughing at me now. Oh, there we go. Get over here. You're mine. And our encounter for, what is this, round three, is an Ekin. Snake spelled backwards, but I'm pretty sure that's common knowledge at this point. All right, great. That should raise the chance slightly of you staying in the ball. And you're mine. Now right, we get a little bit of experience for our endeavors. And Ekans data in the Pokedex. The older it gets, the longer it grows. At night, it wraps its long body around tree branches to rest. All right, and we'll go in there to go name you real fast so we don't forget. I want to fight these trainers out here real fast before we venture on into mountainous moon. And that's a party. Let's put Chris Craig's in there for a bit. Just so we can name you. And, and I believe the viewer that we shall have this name to be, Ozzy underscore Lombax. Thank you for becoming a gamer bear. You are now an Ekans. Congratulations. As soon as I can get this uh, little text in done, it could be, it could be a while. Now where's underscore? There it is. Actually, you know what? Let's skip that, uh. I'll skip the underscore. There's no need for that to be there. Alright, and this next one I shall name after a Tales of Character. Which there are a few things we can do in here. Alright, now let's go back and get Chris Craig's back in here. Alright, that's probably the rarest encounter here unless a Jigglypuff randomly shows up. I'm gonna be salty if that happens. Are you a trainer? Let's get right. Let's get. Let's go right away, or whatever you just said. And Kakna is his Pokemon to throw out. Now don't be afraid. Hit him with an electric shock. Now, if Crobat existed in this game, I'd try to get a Zubat, but sadly, that isn't the case. So, I could go for a Geodude, actually, even though Geodude is uber useless against Misty. But very useful against, uh, Lieutenant Surge. But at the same time, it is a trade evolution, so... Unless a viewer gets on here to help trade with me, I can't evolve. And Tenebrae is now level 15. If I'd had new Pokemon, I would have won. No, you wouldn't. Stop lying, kid. You lying to yourself. Alright, what's this dude just doing sitting here? Phew! Just taking a little rest here. That song from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. You can't even go back in that way once you come through. What do you mean? Hello there, Coach Trainer. Yeah, cool. I'm here to gain some experience for the upcoming gym leader. Over on. All right, Cantonian me elf, let's do it. Oh man, this is like the anime. And you're level 13, oh boy. Uh oh, I'm about to get paid today. Ow, that did some damage, I don't like that. He's barely taking any damage from that. Well, not barely, that's half. Alright, best to go into Tenebrae for this. Didn't realize Kaku was so underleveled. Then again, she's taking a little bit to level up compared to everybody else. That's still doing quite a bit. Imagine if abilities were a thing in this game and he had Technician. I'd be screwed right now. Man, 
man, I like money. I get to get even more after this battle, if it works that way, that is. Goodbye. Aaron is now level 14. Huh. Who, you won't have any trouble going through Mount Moon. Yeah, I got a little extra cash. Thanks for that. That was a great battle. Take this as thanks. Payday, yeah. Payday, the move payday. Yeah, cool. I already know what it does. We already know what it does. And she battle you? I don't think so. I don't think this character even has a 3D model of some sorts. Well, an in-game model, I should say, because obviously she has a 3D model. I still prefer this Nurse Joy design over the one in Scarlet and Violet. The other one in Sun and Moon, I think, is better. And much cuter, too. And so, because there's a hiker sitting over here, Aaron is our best choice here. I come to Mount Moon from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. That's right, you can ride on some Pokemon like Onyx. And you're just standing there to give exposition like that? Ouch, I tripped over a dude lying on the ground. You're standing just fine. I don't see what your problem is. Hey, I'm mean, sitting up there. I don't think I noticed that detail before. Then again, it's been a long time since I played this. Because as I've said before, I'm not particularly fond of this game. Looks like there's nothing, uh, there's nothing here. Uh, th then, let's just search farther in. You, you were eavesdropping on us now, weren't you? I got like one line, calm down. Melf, you were supposed to be keeping watch. Well, I was keeping watch, James. We know uh, there are rare fossils buried around you somewhere. If you got any, you'd better hand them over, you says to her. That's right. For anyone is, if anyone's going to profit off those rare fossils, it's going to be us. <laughs> Whatever the hell. Well, that's my um impression of the three of them. Needs work, but no need. I can always practice. All right, and now actually, before we get encounters, actually now Aaron in front is fine. Alright, Geodude is our choice. Zubat, but Crobat doesn't exist in this game, sadly. And Geodude's purely a trade evolution, which is sucky. Maybe a Clefairy should show up. Maybe I'll stick around until one should does show up so I can have myself a fairy type. Rock types are not the best choice right now, though I could use it for later on for the Lieutenant Service Gym. But then again, Diglett's Cave is a thing. I could just do that. It's gotta be Clefairy. Well, Paris sucks ass, so we're not getting Paris. I think Clefairy's probably the thing I should narrow down the most here. Alright, dude. Let us fight. There are suspicious characters looking around in the cave. And you are? Why are you even asking that, dude? Haven't you known? I'm a famous Nuzlocker. Okay, not quite yet, but it'll happen Sunday. I already know it. Hello? Okay, you're hacking. How the hell do you have a level 7 Butterfree? Alright, let's teach this hacker a lesson. Confusion! As I say, chaos and confusion. That is the answer. And that butterfly beaten up. Yo, know, Pinch as well as Pokemon were for some random ass reason, I always forget what level it evolves at. I think 18, but I could be wrong. Why do I always forget what level it evolves at? Mikleo level 6. You got me. Great balls. And even then, early games you've had is hot garbage as well. That's a bit of a problem. The Clefairy's easily the best encounter I can get here, so where's the Clefairy when you need one? 
Hey, I have a friend, uh, find here. She's finding a friend here. Last Evelyn is next. And Bell Sprouts. Come on, Wind, knock him around to cut him down. Windblade. And June is level 14. I lost. Yeah, pretty fast, kid. I was slowly walking. How does that make me fast? Look at this. Or jogging. This is a freaking light jog. How am I being fast? Alright, Super Nerd Boy over here might have. Now let's see what he does have. Uh, what? Don't sneak up on me. Well, I kind of did sneak up on him even though I was jogging to you. Super Nerd Joven, or Hoven, Joven, yeah, Joven. And a Grima. I had a feeling you'd have that. But too bad I don't really have anything to take on poison types yet. So you know what? We're gonna do some shenanigans. We're gonna blind you with sand. And it hits me. Of course it does. Yeah, let's just ignore sand attack, right? Yeah, I should have gone to my poison type. So, let us do that now. Shion! That did some pretty decent damage, so our best bet is clearly just to go for bite here. And again, I lower Jarek's by one. How are you hitting these? Alright, I gotta flinch at the very least. Jeez! And this is the second time today I'm getting all these flinches. First time with my Chi Yu and my recent uh, Wi Fi battle vids. Three flinches! Holy shit! Well, geez, that's the right amount of hacks I needed. All the sand, the freaking sand attack was a waste of time. My Pokemon won't do. And we tell you look like Dementio. Nah, never mind. Alright, we're gonna need something else to weaken these mods. So it's probably best to have Shion on the front in case any more poison types show up. Besides Zubats, that is. And Ether. Nope, oh, fuck it. That's my encounter, Geo dude. Now get your Pokeball through the Mover Grin, and you can get a bonus for a great technique. As the ring gets smaller. That's your chance to try to snag a great bonus. Alright, Geo Dude, stay in that ball. Alright, I'm definitely not using you for the Misty fight, because that is hella risky. I could use you for the next Trace fight. Of course I do. Yeah, I hate the catch mechanics in this game. Alright, one, two, Three, and stay. Thank you. Our Judy's data add to the Pokedex. Commonly found near mountains, trails, and the like. If you step on one by accident, it gets angry. Alright, let me see which gender you are, because that'll allow me to know what I should name. And you are level 7, and you are a male. Change name. Alright, of all tales of character- Honestly, there's the obvious one, just Gnome. Gnome, the great spirit of Earth. 
is now a Geodude. And let us continue, because that is our encounter for here, and I'm going to be so miffed if I see a Clefairy. Not a Zubat, though. I mean, I guess that means dupes for when Rock Tunnel shows up, I can get a higher chance to get either a Rhyhorn or a Cubone. Or an Onyx, even though Onyx is easily the worst of the bunch. It's way bigger in here than I thought. Miriam, not another female character named Miriam in a much later Pokemon game. And Clefairy is our opponent here. I'm a little salty that you've got one and I do not, but who cares? Oh, piss off! You had to sing! Oh, then again, I, had, I did flinch opponents three times in a row earlier. Oh, my Bellsprout here does have a minus special attack nature, so Acid isn't going to do much. Oh, fuck you. Really? Really? What hot garbage is this? You hit two things in a row. Alright, I've got no choice but to wait for him to wake up then. Come on. Wake up. Aaron, you gotta wake up, man. You can't be asleep like this. It's a good thing you don't know roll out. Come on. Wake up. You're wasting time here. Okay, real? What is that, three turns now? The game is just taunting me. Thank you. All right. Lay the pain. Okay, that's the damage we want to see. Kaku level 12. And wants to learn Double Team. Call me crazy, but does Double Team exist in Scarlet and Violet anymore? And right, I've already got plenty of things I know Tail Whip on this team, so let's get rid of that. Oh, I lost. Oh, screw you. You got two things in a row. I don't want to hear you complaining. Now, clearly, my team has been taking a bit of a beating here. So why don't we go heal real fast? And get the Zubats. Yikes! <laughs> Quit following us! I ain't following you, dude. You just happen to be standing there. Also, you can see me from all the way back there. Did you come to explore the cave, too? 
I'm kind of trying to get to a certain city here. Sand Shrew. Which I don't think it knows any ground time moves yet, besides maybe Sand Attack. This could be a bit of a risky play here. And this is much lower level than me, so let's fish for some flinches. Oh my jeez! If she unflinches again, everyone's gonna think we're a witch. Oh my god! How many flinches did she get in a row? That's like six. Uh -huh. Joan is not playing, dude! That was extinct. It's so uncool. You know what else? Things getting flinched a bunch of times. Whoa, you surprised me. Oh, you're just a kid. Um, and, um, dark cave with a fat dude in here. Just going, oh, you're just a kid with a weird ape looking face. Yeah, that's not weird at all. Nope, not at all. That's totally normal. So normal. Fine whip. Mikleo is now level 7. And goodbye. Wow, surprise again. Oh, there's a suck-ass Paris. A pearl. Actually, isn't there a moonstone around here, if I remember correctly? Oh. Eh, <sighs> I see you have plenty of Pokeballs. If you are a come talk to me, okay? Jesse and James have gone. Right, the type. I bet you're running. Oh, there's the fuck. Oh, of course, go fairies are all the way down here. Uh huh. And I freaking known that before. I would have planned for it. Oh well. Besides Jigglepuff and Clefairy, I don't think there's any other fairy types in this game, right? <laughs> well, shit, I think I just ran out of my chance of getting any fairy types. I mean... There is Bruno, but nah. Besides him and Lance, I guess, there's really no fairy type people I have to worry about too much. Or uh, dragon or fighting type people I have to worry about too much. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. I mean, you want me to get lost yet? You're the one walking up and talking to me. Alright, Aaron. Show this drowsy. What you get? Oh my, what is it with these sleeping moves hitting so frequently? Alright, Kaku. Alright, your special defense is quite high, so quick attack is the best choice here. Oh, you're good!
I'm not giving you a fossil, you loser. Aren't those star-colored things fossils? All right, Meowth. Go get those fossils. Well, why me, James? Yeah, I'll just ignore you. No need to waste my time or Pokeballs on that. Oh boy, even more disrespect. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. Alright, and the female trainer grunts. Alright, Gio, and here we go again. Alright, this time she didn't get a flinch. Alright. Do you remember the days when Zubats had Leech Life in the early game? Well, because of that buff that Leech Life got recently, or at the time this game came out, they can't do that no more, or else it would have been overpowered. And I like how she has literally the same animation as the last class. Boy, that really makes me steam. What? Phrasing, woman. I get what you mean, but phrasing. I don't think hidden items are a thing in this game. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. You're challenged by Super Nerd Miguel. Voltaro. Do you remember in the Gen 1 days where for some random ass reason Voltorb and Electro couldn't learn any electric type moves, not even through TM? So what the hell is the point of even making them electric type? Thundershock. Poison this thing's only been 20 power, right? 15. That is sucky. Yeah, just better to keep using Bite. is level 15 and magnemite because in this game you are skill type double kick will be even better I'm funny the only steel types in the entire game and they can't even well I think they can't learn flash cannon in this game but fun fact about of course fun fact about magnemite and magneton which I think is Pretty common knowledge, but I'll state it anyways. They are the only Pokemon in Gen 2 and 3. Well, I shouldn't say they're the only Pokemon, but Magnemite and Magneton, despite being the very first Steel types, even though back in the Gen 1 days they were pure electric type, I know, good things for the mess, that gives me a clean switch. They couldn't learn any Steel type moves until Generation 4. Like moves like Flash Cannon and Magnum Bomb, for example. So them not being able to learn a single steel type move in Gen 2 and 3 made their steel typing, uh, at least offensively, essentially very useless. And she almost learned how that playing hand? Not gonna help. <laughs> get it, pun intended? Alright. Okay, I'll share. 
Fine. We'll take... We'll, we'll at least take a fossil. It's no good being greedy, right? Alright. You know what they say, Lord Helix? But Kabutops is pretty cool, too. Um... I think I'll end up having more special attackers than physical attackers. This is a difficult choice. But I think I'm gonna go with Kabuto. Alright then, the other fossil is mine. And if these guys will quit surrounding me, that'd be awesome. But anyways, as a certain uh, YouTuber I watched once said, I chose the Dome Fossil. But, oh, um, so, uh, whatever. Uh, I'm kind of trying to paraphrase here, but I'm kind of drawing a blank at the same time. Over in Mount Moon, I chose the Dome Fossil. So you wouldn't have to ask. Any actually, now that I think about it, everybody ask anyways. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I know I'm just paraphrasing, that isn't my quotation. Stop right there. Why am I spinning? Hands off! That fossil belongs to us! How did you even get here ahead of us? We're Team Rocket, I'm Jesse. And I'm James. May I ask the name? The, and the two of us are going to take that fossil back. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Oh yeah, double battle. Funny, just when Shion was about to learn a helping hand. Ekans and Gopher. Oh, look at that, Pikachu and Eevee. Funny how that works. Alright, I think it's better to go and double down on the Ekans slot. Because double battles can be a little bit of a problem. Alright, the Thundershock should kill from that range. No, that didn't do anything. And whatever coughing has to throw out is, we're fine. Alright, quick attack the Ekans. I should bring in Shio so Kaku doesn't die. No, Shio. Oh, no, Shion's not looking too good. So Chris Craig's is gonna have to do. Alright, goodbye, Ekans. And now it's gonna break level 16. And extra HP EV, like we really needed that. Crisp Cricks is level 15. Let's learn wing attack. A much needed upgrade over Gust. Because Gust is full of disgust. Alright, and that's all you have is some measly old tackles. So we have no choice but to double down on your slot. Well, if I really wanted to be annoying, I could double down with Sand Attack. That was a crit. And this is the end for Coughing. You defeated Jesse and James. I can't believe it! Hutzor beat us? Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again! Except there isn't a Pikachu blowing you all up. That's what's missing right now. Okay, and if I remember correctly, there is a ledge here, and if I... Oh, wait. It doesn't matter if I go down this ledge, but I don't want to go into a certain area because I think there's a moonstone in Mount Moon, and I don't want to miss out on that. So, alright, before I hit any of these ledges, I just want to see if there's any grass around. 
And actually, just in case there isn't, I'm going to save right here and I actually go over a ledge so I can come back right here. And I can go look for that moonstone off screen. Alright, let us be careful. There's an item over here. Paralyzed heal? Oh, that would have been useful before. Actually, I think the grass is only at a ledge, if I remember correctly. Pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, nope, it's only at a ledge. I don't want to go down there accidentally. Don't do it. Is it me or the frame rate seems a little off? It looks like it's running at 30. I think it is running at 30. But, uh, enough of that bit. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to save that encounter for the next episode. Okay, then. Well, I suppose that shall be the end for this episode. In the next episode, I believe there is an upcoming rival fight, the Nugget Bridge Battles, and go and go see Bill. If you all enjoyed this edition of my Let's Go Eevee Nuzlocke and you want to see more, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow. Do whatever you need to do to support the channel so you don't miss out on other great episodes like this. Hit one of the videos you see on screen now and that bell button for more for me to name you after one of these or one of my mons after you. Thank you everybody for watching and special thank you to Cloud for joining me once again. And have yourselves a nice day.